So hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today again I am back with another important numericals and transmission line designs. And here we have the question. Here we have idealized data load data for the no load and no power pair company feeders. And here we have given the different time schedule and the street street lightning similarly residential commercials and the load for a different time schedule is given in this column for street lighting similarly the load for residential is given in this in this column for different time schedule similarly the load for commercial for different schedule for a different schedule is given in this question and here Use the data given in the table 2.1 for the NL and NV load curve and note that the peak occurs at 5 pm. Means here at 5 pm the peak has occurred. This is the peak period. So determine the following means the class contribution factor for each of the three load classes, the diversity factor for the primary feeders, the diversified maximum demand of the load group and in the D we have to calculate the coincidence factor of the load group. So first we will calculate the class contribution factors. So here the class contribution factors here we have the formula for class contribution factor as class demand at the time of system peak upon class known coincidence maximum demand. So we have given for street lightning, residential and for commercials. So for street lightning we can see here means here the peak has occurred at 5 pm so this is for street means here we have 0 kilowatt similarly here this is for residential and commercial for residential we have 600 kilowatt and for commercial we have 1200 commercial we have here 1200 load megawatt sorry this is in kilowatt given so for street we have 0 similarly for residential 600 and for commercial we have 1200 so here class contribution factor we have the formula as class demand at the time of system peak upon class known coincidence maximum demand so for street we have 0 and the maximum demand is 100 so it will be 0 similarly for residential we have 600 kilowatt given and the maximum demand is 1000 here you can see in this column the maximum demand is 100 similarly here in this column the maximum demand is here 1000 and similarly in this column the maximum demand is here 1200 so here we can calculate for residential the class contribution factor is 600 upon 1000 so we will get here 0 0.6 similarly for commercial we have 1200 upon 1200 we will get here 1 and we know diversity factor is given as a summation di upon dg and here dg equal to class contribution factor into di so here to calculate fd here we have fd is equal to summation di upon summation ci into di therefore the diversity fact, uh, factor for the primary feeder is fd is equal to summation i equals to 1 to 3 altogether we have 3 so di upon summation i equal to 1 to 3 ci into di and for street we have 100 maximum demand is 100 similarly for residential we have 1000 and for commercial we have 1200 maximum demand and ci is a contribution factor so for street we have obtained a the contribution factor as zero similarly for uh, resi residential we have obtained for 0 0.6 as a class contribution factors and for commercial we have obtained the contribution factor as one so CI into DI, so maximum demand is 100 for street, for residential 1000 and for commercial 1200. So once you calculate this, you will get FD as 1.278 and this is the diversified factors. Now the diversified maximum demand is the coincidence maximum demand that is DG. So therefore DG will be summation I equal to 1 to 3 DI upon FD and here we have DI for street we have 100. Similarly, for residential we have 1000 and for commercial we have 200 maximum demand. 
and upon EFD and just we have obtained the value of EFD as 1.278 here. So once we use here and calculate we will get here 1800 kilowatt. Similarly the coincidence factor for the load group will be FC is equal to 1 upon EFD and we have obtained the value of EFD here means 1.278 here. So if we use the value of EFD here 1.278 will get the value of EFC means coincidence factor for the load group. So we will get here 0 0.7825. So in this we can calculate source type of numericals. Thanks for watching this and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.